what happens when we aren't recording or saving an eye track or using the follow the contour feature and decide that we want to retrace our path through productive fishing grounds. In this case, we can rely on the backtrack feature. Backtrack allows us to retrace the boat's most recent path along a distance that we can set and manage. Before we contemplate using backtrack, we should set our backtrack distance using the fish finder. Backtrack distance is, quite simply, the distance that your boat will travel as iPilot Link retraces the boat's most recent path. On a Helix, press the menu key twice from any view to access the main menu and select the Accessories menu tab. Here, choose iPilot Settings followed by Backtrack Distance. Now, use the left and right arrow keys to set the backtrack distance between one-tenth and two miles. On a Solix, from the home screen, choose Settings followed by Navigation. Under iPilot Options, select Backtrack Distance and adjust using the control wheel. To activate Backtrack from a Helix, select the Backtrack option from the virtual remote, or press the Go To key and select Backtrack. The same two options, the virtual remote or the Go To key submenu, are available for activating Backtrack from a Solix. When Backtrack is activated, iPilot Link plots your upcoming course as a new iTrack, with your current position labeled as the start of the eye track and your destination, which is a distance along the boat's previous path equal to the backtrack distance as the eye tracks end. As when navigating any other eye track, you can backtrack at any speed of your choosing. Keep in mind, however, that any steering inputs will cancel iPilot navigation.